As of today, she has been missing for six weeks and is presumed dead. Now a judge is considering oh, who should have custody of Kelsey Barrett's young daughter. This morning, family members of Barrett's fiance, who was accused of killing her, asked the judge to let them have some say in little girl's care. Nine months to investigator Kevin Vaughn was in Cripple Creek for that hearing this morning. Kevin. Kim, this is a perplexing case. Although Barris' whereabouts are unknown, authorities have concluded that she was murdered, and they've accused Patrick Frazee, the little girl's father, of killing her. Frazee arrived at the courthouse for this morning's hearing in a sheriff's van, was whisked upstairs and seated in the jury box. He's been charged with multiple counts of murder and solicitation of murder and Barris' disappearance. She was last seen in a grocery store on Thanksgiving with her and Frazee's year-old daughter. Today, Frazee's mother and other family members sought to intervene in the question of the little girl's care. The judge closed today's hearing to the public and the media, and we've just learned that the little girl will remain with Barris' family, at least for the time being. They've had temporary custody since Frazee's arrest December 21st. In the meantime, Frazee was led back to that sheriff's van in shackles and returned to jail. He's due back in that same courtroom on Friday for a hearing on multiple motions that have been filed in the murder case. Kim? So many things that we don't know about this case, and then you have two families, and in the middle of it, a little girl. Yeah, it, and it's no telling how long this is going to play out. The next hearing on the custody question is, is later in February, so this is going to take a while to sort out. Sure will. All right, thank you, Kevin.